Hello, my name is Tana Wan Pizaras. I'm a resident one from the emergency department of Tulalongkorn Hospital. Today, I'm going to talk about my research. My research is about the reliability of the point of care by gas analysis. We measure the potassium compared with the central laboratory auto analysis. Let me explain the background. The potassium is one of the electrolytes that is important to the patient because it has a role in stabilizing cell membranes. Hypokalemia, hyperkalemia can cause a blood thickening condition such as the arrhythmia or cardiac arrest. The patient who come with the emergency room, they may present with the severe condition or the cardiac arrest. One of the treatable and reversible cause is the hypokalemia and hyperkalemia. If we can identify the potassium disorder at the bedside, which means we can make the decision and correct it rapidly. But my question is, can we trust the potassium from the point of care by gas analysis? Because I have seen many cases from the point of care by gas analysis that potassium is higher than the central laboratory auto analysis. For example, we see the result of point of care by gas analysis is a hyperkalemia. We treat it, we correct it. And after that, the central rep result is come back. It's told that it's normal kalemia. We already treated. So my hypothesis are there are the factor affects the blood result. I think if we can minimize the factors, the difference between the potassium of the two machines will no significant difference. Or if it's still difference, what else can affect the blood result? And what machine we can trust? Thank you.